Hi everyone, I'm now back from Cornwall. Um, I had an amazing time, like did lots of things. It was nice to kind of get away from stuff for a while. It really cleared my head. Um, you know, did lots of nice things. Went go-kart and went to the Eden Project um, and bought lots of nice things, including um, this fleece. It's really, really soft and fluffy, which is kind of why I bought it. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. <laughs> God, I could just like stay here for just go like that, <laughs> but yeah, I won't. I am, um, yeah, so I thought I'd make a video blog now, so um, I just thought it was about time. Um, I hope you guys haven't missed me too much. Um, I have a lot of exciting, new, exciting vlog ideas for the next few weeks and months, so I really hope you stay tuned for them. Um, please do. Um, yeah, so today, um, I'm kind of it's going to start this new series called The Random Advice Machine, or RAM for short. Why did I do that? I don't know. I mean, um, yeah, so The Random Advice Machine, or RAM for short. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just like a little series where like um, I'll be kind of giving advice to you guys based on my experiences. Also, please um, let me know anything you might need advice on. You know, I'd love to kind of help as many people as possible, really. I mean, today I'm just going to kind of focus on myself. Um, like in things I wish I could have told myself when I was younger, really, because, you know, I mean, not so much, not so regrets as such, but like, you know, I think things that I think would have made my life a bit easier if I kind of, you know, it's, it's a bit like listening to my own advice sort of thing. So yeah, now I'm going to start. So my first bit of advice, um, like just sticking to my holiday sort of theme, um, I used to kind of think that every holiday accommodation I went to was haunted for some reason, <laughs> like, um, yeah, it was kind of weird, and I really couldn't, really find it hard to relax on holiday, really, um, for that reason, um, I don't know why I thought this, I think it started when, not, not the time I went to Cornwall just, but, like, the last time I was in Cornwall, when I was about 11, I think we stayed in this, quite, it was a, quite an old-fashioned, like, house thing, like, it was really weird, like, like all the, there was like lots of old fashioned ornaments and furniture and stuff like that. I mean, except for the kitchens. For some reason, the kitchen was like really modern. And also, they had like modern, quite, quite modern TV as well. So, um, yeah, but like, yeah, the, the ornaments really freaked me out. And I just thought the place was haunted for some reason. So, I would advise people, you know, just kind of be a bit more relaxed on holiday, there to kind of just relax and unwind. Um, don't think that the place is already haunted unless it actually specifies that it is haunted. I mean, luckily the kind of homeowner of that holiday home was kind of living next to next to us. So, um, so you know, he was able to reassure us that, that it wasn't haunted. <laughs> Another reason why, why it wasn't haunted was that there was no blood on the wall. So now I'm going to go on to things why I... Well, I'm not going to say why I suck at life, but like, um, yes or why I fail at life, <laughs> but I guess maybe something similar to that really, so, um, so, so yeah, um, this could get quite deep, so, and also, I'm just, I apologise if this is rubbish, I've been out of practice for a few weeks, so, so wish me luck. Okay, I'd, I'd kind of say, first of all, high school was probably definitely the most difficult experience of my life, I'd say the entirety of high school, okay? Like, you know, it never really got any easier for me. So, um, yeah, but like, you know, I did have various hobbies like outside of high school, such as ice skating. I mean, obviously gaming as well. Like I was very into my gaming as well. Um, yeah, like um, one thing I do wish though, I, I wish I hadn't given up ice skating. Like, you know, I, th I think like I was kind of at the age, I was about 11, 12 years old, like, um, you know, and where you kind of just want to be, like, accepted by society, I guess, like, and, you know, I think I was, I was at the age where, like, you know, I was, I, I really wanted to be popular sort of thing, and, you know, just caring a lot, a lot about, what, caring about a lot about what other people would have thought, like, if they knew I was ice skating and stuff like that. And also, you know, I kind of find, find it weird because I was the only guy in my figure skating group, and, um, well, I mean, okay, I guess some people wouldn't really complain, like, but, um, but yeah, I, I kind of just find it a bit weird sometimes. Yeah, so, so I'd just say, you know, you know, get hobbies outside of school, because they can really sort of help you to kind of cope, really, to have, like, a bit of a focus outside, 
you know, outside of it, really, basically. So I'd also say when, you know, during my time at high school, I was kind of very, very sensitive. Like, you know, the slightest, you know, I was not very tough-skinned at all. Like, you know, the slightest, like, misunderstanding could really upset me, sort of thing. Like, um, yeah, so I'd say, you know, try not to take things too personally. Like, you know, if, if someone's... You know, unless you've kind of provoked stuff, like, you know, you've done nothing wrong, you know, if pe people want to be weird or, like, whatever, like, you know, take take no notice, like, you know, like, some people probably will have different opinions to you, like, you know, and some may even try to put you down about it, just take no notice of them, you know, just, just stay true to yourself, um... You know, don't take things too personally. Like, you know, it's a lot of the time, like, people will probably act the same around everybody, really, sort of thing. If they have, like, some different quirks or whatever, like, you know, they could act the same around everybody. <laughs> so, um, so, so don't, don't take everything to heart. And also, because I was so, like, you know, sen sensitive, I'll say, like, I don't want to say a scaredy cat, but, like, yeah, sensitive, like, um, during that age when I was at high school, like, you know, often kind of made me sort of, like, back out of things, you know, I, I'd say, you know, be adventurous, you feel, you feel so much better about yourself if, you know, you take your chances, do, do new things, try new experiences, be open-minded to lots of things, you know, life's what you make it, like, and also, like, you know, you're young, really, well, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm still young, I'm 20, like, is that still young? I hope so. <laughs> so another th piece of advice that I think has occurred to me a bit more recently that I feel like could arguably be the most important piece of advice I give on this video is to, you know, try and befriend people or let people befriend you if they want to, like, you know, be nice to people, like, you know, if people are nice to you, that means they want to be friends with you. Um, this occurred to me because on the first year of my foundation degree, I found it very difficult to make new friends. However, there were some there were some people that um, I knew um, in the same that were in the same building as me that were doing an art course. Now I really enjoyed hanging out with these people, but someone in my head, like for some reason, just I think it was a social anxiety thing, like you know thought that, like, I would annoy them if I was to kind of hang out with them too much. So, um, yeah, and I feel, I kind of feel really bad about it, because they, they were genuinely nice people, and, and stuff like that. Like, and, yeah, I, re I really regret not spending time, like, more time with them. I just want these people to know that, like, the reason I probably didn't hang out with them as much as I felt like I should is, it was nothing to do with that, it wasn't, it wasn't any... Anything they did, you know, they did absolutely nothing wrong. They didn't didn't do anything wrong. Like it was purely my problem, and I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, if I'm watching this, so I also felt like when I was younger, like um, you know, I kind of felt like very intimidated by everybody. Like you know, this is going back to like a really really sensitive phase. Like I felt intimidated by everybody, and I felt like everybody hated me and wanted to kill me, sort of thing. I was kind of kind of hard to leave the house when I was when I was younger, like. Um, because because of my my anxiety sort of thing like and um, you know I kind of felt that whenever I left the house that there was going to be someone that wanted to kill me and you know that really kind of it made me kind of really struggle with you know growing in confidence I guess really I mean n now I'm fine with like heading out really I mean I've just been to town on my own <laughs> well I, I mean I, 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 know it's, I know it doesn't sound like a big thing but like you know I've just been to town on my own like and you know, bought, bought myself a book and the new Spider-Man film, so, um, so, so yeah, but, like, you know, thinking back a few years ago, probably when I was at high school, like, I probably wouldn't be able to do that on my own. But, but, yeah, just, you just don't feel like everybody wants to kill you when you, when you, every time you step out the door. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. Um, if you have any thing you want advice on please let me know and I'll try to kind of help you out as best as I can like you know which I might mention it in a later video blog um yeah as I say I've got many exciting video projects that I'll be like recording and posting online like pretty soon so please stay tuned for them um if you like this video please check out my other videos please subscribe and um yeah I'll yeah it's nice to just get back into this really so Okay, um, stay tuned. Bye-bye.